All right, guys, so what I'm going to talk about today is just kind of give a little overview of the RTK page and configuring your radio uh, based off whichever base station you're on. So first thing I'm going to do is click on my status bar. Here you can see I have my receiver right here. <coughs> it tells me what type of receiver, whether, whether it's a 6,000, a 3,000, or the soon to come 7,000s. It tells me what software version I'm on, the last six of the serial number. Right here is going to tell me the operating mode, so what correction signal I'm receiving, whether it be SF1, SF2, SF3, or RTK. Here it's going to tell me my accuracy levels and then uh, my signal strength. So I can click here, and then it takes me to kind of the home page of the receiver. There you see the position mode, so right now I'm in SF1, I'm about to configure it to RTK. So if I want to configure to RTK, all I need to do is come over here and click on my tripod. Right now, operating mode is off, so I'll just click configure. Here's where you're going to input your ID and your radio frequency. So if you're on a Hudson base station, uh, if you get in contact with us, we can provide that to you. Uh, if you have your own base stations, you should already have that information. So just input your ID and your frequency here. Then you also want to change your operating mode to vehicle. Uh, I'll go ahead and click on it again. These right here are for your base stations. Uh, so you'll always be on vehicle if you're in the tractor. So we'll click on vehicle. And then we'll hit our next button. And it's just giving you uh, information here to make sure you know you're changing your network settings. Hit next again. Shows your configuration successful. If you wait a second, and you'll see down here our radio data, it'll slowly start to creep up to 100%. And then we should get a notification at the top here once we receive radio RTK. So RTK signal has been acquired. And this right here is just kind of an overview of our RTK page. So these are just all of our inputs right here. So we put in vehicle and we put in our ID and our frequency. And then over here is this base station data status. So we're on absolute, the number of satellite corrections we're receiving at that base station. Our status is okay. Here's the big one too, the distance from our base station. So right now we're 11.9 miles away. Most of our base stations are gonna get between that 12 to 15 mile uh, radius range as far as how good the signal is um, so we're right on the fringe of that and then uh, like I said directions and degrees and then our base station battery voltage and then you'll notice as we get further out our percent received in our radio data will slowly start to creep down and then we'll eventually drop to RTKX uh, another question we get to is if you know say we get to RTKX and then we eventually drop to WAS is how do we go in and configure it just so we can auto steer so if you just want to turn your RTK off and run on SF1, just come in, click configure, change it from vehicle to off, hit your configure button. And now we're in 3D SF1. So now we're able to auto steer. For example, if we were outside of our RTK uh, operating area, then we could go in and do that just so we could use our auto steer.